my daughter's pretty excited about this program. Yeah, I've gone all day without using my inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought is not a good idea. You could really screw up your respiratory system. Well, you can use your inhaler if it helps you. <laughs> okay. Uh, bottom line. I'm sorry? Bottom line, she's a good student and she'll do well here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> She's on the short list, Mr. Richardson, and uh, the best we can hope for at this point is that a couple of people drop out who've already been accepted. Whoa, okay, all right. Perhaps you guys need a new scoreboard for the gymnasium, huh? Yes, uh, or perhaps. We've got a fairly updated scoreboard, thank you. <laughs> this could sweeten the deal. Okay, Ooh. that's very sweet. Who doesn't like sweet times? I don't know. <laughs> Took a poll. Not too many people would say I don't like them, or uh, if they do, they're probably saying I'm diabetic. Or yeah. <laughs> the only reason I even have asthma is because my house was too clean growing up. Can you even imagine that? It was too clean. It was very sterile. Um, her mother, her mother had treatment, and now our house is just like any other house. I promise you that. Dust mites and mice and yeah, other things. So what kind of house do you live in? Kind of a split level. Oh, a rancher? <laughs> I wouldn't call it a rancher. It's uh, since uh, the burbs. Pretty happy out there. It's got you know, a family now. You know, I was walking up and I noticed that your guys' cement's all cracked in the front walk, and I happen to own one of the largest cement factories in town. <laughs> I might be able to fix that right up, patch the cracks, or even lay down a new walk for you for no charge at all if that short list gets shorter. So now look what you did. You gone and made me have to use my inhaler. <laughs> Everybody's got parents waiting outside for him, right? And I'm the only one who doesn't, right? And I'm thinking, does everybody know I'm an orphan here? If anybody finds out I'm an orphan and I'm the only one who ain't got parents waiting outside for him, I'll spit my porridge right up on Mrs. Whittington. <laughs> my dad picks me up from school every day in our van, and I get to take two of my friends with me so that we can have fun time in our rec room. Well, yesterday I brought home one of the kids that made me steal last year. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, our rec room was missing a few darts and cues, if you know what I mean. My <laughs> dad is a mortician. So he has a lot of bodies in the basement, so when we bring people over, they, sometimes we play a puppetry with them. You can actually put your hand underneath their skin of their back. Yeah. <laughs> so they look like a shark. <laughs> <laughs> or a stegosaurus. <laughs> What's everybody doing this weekend? I've got a soccer game and a softball game and a lacrosse match. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. That sounds like a lot. I'd ask you if you wanted to fill in. We're missing a guy for lacrosse, but I know you can't afford the equipment. <laughs> Sorry. You can come over and play with extra skin. <laughs> we made a sale with it. Oh. Hey, you don't know if it works until you try it. <laughs> we derive life lessons from it. <laughs> Shucks, I mean, how much equipment's in lacrosse? I mean, it can't be too much, right? Besides, you could always make it out of skin. skin. <laughs> and this good boy's beamer, parents baby. to be, and this boy's parents of natural are in the same Arby's right now, sitting just a mere three booths away from